Hey all, Russ here over your TV. Welcome. Check it out. We are on US 30, cruising through the western Pennsylvania mountains. Look at it. Kind of reminds you of West Virginia and North Carolina. I think it's part of the Appalachians and Blue Ridge Mountains, all that. We've been going up and down mountain passes. Pretty steep ones, too. Anyway, we're heading over to that uh, national site. Flight 93 national site. Going to check that out. So far, I've run in and out of a few raindrops. Not too bad. So hopefully it'll hold off until we get there and get it filmed. Pretty curvy road uh, for big rigs and pulling trailers. This section of US 30, it, you can do it easy, but you're, it's going to be a slow ride. Here we go down another one. The average mountain pass has been like 24, 2600 feet. Wow, and then all of a sudden, look at this freeway. I gotta get fuel too. Let's make a stop here. This is a Gateway Plaza. This is right on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. Interstate 70 and 76. All kinds of trucks and restaurants and motels here. But we're going to stay on US 30. Look at that. The clouds are still broken. Looks like we might beat the rain. Yay! <laughs> Hopefully. All right. Well, I'm going to take a couple minute break from driving. Then we'll get back on the road. Yeah, out west you don't see many turp pay roads, toll roads, like you do out east here, where you gotta pay to travel on them. 353 is what I paid for diesel. Well, this should be a few more miles up 30 here. Thought we'd check out that Flight 93 National Memorial. Then we're going to head on into Ohio. I just ran through bunch of rain see here it's not roads are still kind of wet but we should be getting close real close to the entrance to the National Memorial This is Western Pennsylvania. Big mountains and it's rolling farmland. Absolutely beautiful here. Big farms too. According to the phone, I made it. We're here. Looking for a sign. Yep. This is it. Let's pull on in. Check it out.
Look at the roads. It just got done raining here, but it held off. Thank goodness. Yay. Cool. Let's stop, get a picture of the sign. Flight 93 National Memorial. There's a sign back here. Let's check it real quick while I'm here. And the story of why this memorial's here. Goodness. Look at that, they even got a phone you can uh, call, a phone number, right there, and it'll give you the all the details. Alright, well, let's drive on in. That tower on the left, it's called... Power of Voices. We'll check that on the way out. Let's go into the memorial first. Sign said three and a half miles back. We'll check that and then we'll uh, stop at this tower on the way out. Tower of Voices. This is the visitor center here. Let's go to the memorial site first since it's not raining. I can get out and film that and then we'll check the visitor center because if it's raining I can go inside the building. <laughs> Yay. Oh, look at that. They got RV park in there. Cool. All right. Follow the signs. All kinds of walkways out there. Looks like uh, memorial setups. Big waterway. But this is supposed to be the crash shot site out here. And uh, wall of names, something like that. We'll find out. Memorial Plaza. They got restrooms here. Nice stonework. I'm sure it's got all kinds of good architecture. Most of these memorial sites do. They got lighting along the pathway. Look how green birdies are chirping. Welcome to the Memorial Plaza. Shows the layout. Looks like you can access this both from the visitor center and down here. Okay, well, let's go for a walk. Pictures. Pictures of from when the plane went down on a farm here. I guess this was all farm land here. It shows the flight path that it took. Kind of sad, really. You can feel it, sadness here. Huh. 
Oh boy. And here's the heroes of the flight. Wow. Put face to it. All right. Well, let's keep moving. There's another little sign for it. So on the phone, you can dial it and get the story as you're walking through here. Okay, what's in here? Oh, wow, message board. Look at that. You can leave a message. Huh, that's a good idea. And a sign-in book. All right, well, let's keep walking. Bunch of benches here. Wow, this is a huge walkway. That must be the site out there. It's all calm and peaceful now, isn't it? Here's a storyboard. See what it says. Kind of faded. Oh wow, there's a boulder out there. They put a 17 ton boulder right out there. That marks a spot. for that. Okay, up here's the names of the heroes. that ranger is saying that the line of the wall here is the flight path where the plane came in and all the names on here were all picked by the family how they wanted it to be uh, displayed the families all right let's go check out that visitor center kinds of trails, walking trails, paved out there, all over the field. So far the rain held off, thank you. Yeah, out there there's a bridge, waterways, and trails. They've really got this fixed nice. They're working on it too. There's a lot of work in progress here.
you can see up here too where they're planting all kinds of trees look at all that trees are young yet they're mowing in between them boy in a few years that'll be a big old forest won't it nice very well done, very well thought out. There's a visitor center, looks pretty big. Let's get parked. Visitor Center and Overlook. We got restrooms here. Handicap parking. RV parking. Pretty good size. It's like a topographical layout of the whole National Memorial here. Different buildings. And here's a map of all the different layouts. I got everything numbered. We've already been down to the memorial site. All right, well, let's check this out. Now, this pathway represents the flight path that the plane came in right here, this pathway. see farms all around different farmlands buildings okay here's their visitor center let's do a walkthrough Hello, welcome to Flight 93. Hi. Well, they had an information desk with the rangers, park rangers. They got displays. Shows the history here of what took place. Very well done. A lot of people in here. That's good to see. Well, let's go out to the walkway. Check that view. Good saying, common field one day, field of honor the next. Right down there, that's where we were. That's a wall of names. They mowed a pathway right to that big boulder. Huh. Well, very well done, Memorial. All right, we say, let's go back and check out that tower. Tower of Voices. Just a little mist <laughs> hitting the windshield. It held off.
Alright, here it is here. We already stopped there and got a picture. Tower of Voices. See what the sign story. Tower. Oh wow, there's big wind chimes in there. Huh. Well, that's cool. I'll be darn. Well, we gotta go check that out. I don't hear nothing. Wow, those are big. Goodness. Huge wind chimes. There's not enough wind to set them off right now. It's actually pretty calm. Huh. Look at the size of those. Look at the pipe around them. Well, that's cool. Very fitting fits perfectly here. Tower of Voices. Nice. Hmm. Well, back to US 30 Lincoln Highway. We got about another 100 miles and we're going to be in Ohio. Yay! Well, Pennsylvania has a lot to offer. What a great RV place. All kinds of good stuff. Too bad it rained so much on me. It kind of rained me out for a few days. It's rained ever since we left the memorial site. This is the Ohio River. This bridge cuts us into Steubenville, Ohio. Welcome to Ohio. Journey continues. Talk soon. <laughs>